It's been three years since trainer Nathan Hunt took over the training license and the Romford contract from Phil Simmons. Things are going really well here and he's now dual contract at Monmore and Romford. But going back to the beginning, it was a very frustrating start to his training career. We were fortunate enough to win a little competition, British bred competition at Romford. Uh, I think that was March 20 and literally come to a standstill obviously for like 10 weeks. So. Uh, just as you start, start to come to an end and um, we were fortunate really in a way to stop racing because we managed to get work done at the kennels that we wanted, refurbish some kennels, we bred a couple of litters so it was good to come out of it um, but then obviously we had to get going again and um, yeah three years into it I'm proud of what we've achieved so far. Um, we've improved every year, we set a target of, for last year to try and reach 100 open winners and um, you know, luckily, luckily enough, we did reach reach it. I think we got to 104. So this year, we just we just try and improve again, and hopefully, we just get a better team of dogs and um, it'd be nice to get a big competition under a belt. Yeah, lots happened in three years and some great stats there, but I know you, you don't have a day off. Do you enjoy it? Uh, yeah, you've got to enjoy it, really. It is, it is a way of life. Um, I suppose uh, people go on about like the good old times and I probably come into it later, so I probably don't don't see it uh, you know so I probably I'm happy with what we've got probably more than anyone um, and I'm just quite ambitious to just to try and make this kennel as good as it can be I'm fortunate I've got a good team behind me and um, yeah as I say we just want to try and keep improving every year um, excited by our dual attachment with more and more now hopefully that'll give us new openings as well so yeah really really fortunate to be in the position I am I've um, got good contracts obviously at Romford and Monmore and I've got a good team of owners behind me as well supporting me. As well as Phil, we've seen him here today and had a little catch up. How hands on is Phil still? Yeah, so Phil's pretty much here every day anyway, obviously because of the Beagle side of it. Um, without the Beagles, the kennels wouldn't be here. So Phil's, Phil's still very much involved that side of it. Um, he still rears the pups for me, um, takes them out every day. Um, and obviously he's very hands on with the, the Wahida litter, obviously we took them schooling and he's very keen to see how they progress on the track so he comes to Mom, Momo with me regularly and um, yeah we're excited by the pups That's what, and um, he certainly drives me on as well to you know um, keep going and um, it's great to have his, someone with his vast amount of knowledge and experience um, to obviously speak to if anything goes wrong. You mentioned what a big part of the kennels the Beagles are, but for those watching who maybe don't know, what, what, what are they all about? Uh, so the, the kennels, Trinity Kennels, have been here probably over 100 years, so they're part of the university. So, um, so Phil's obviously keen to keep that going. He doesn't want that, you know, just to fade away. Um, so, yeah, he keeps it going. I have no interest or any involvement in it, really, to be honest. Um, but, yeah, he's still here, very much hands-on with the Beagles. and. Um, yeah, so they, people in the university come up a couple of times a week, they go out with them. Um, yeah, it's obviously different to what it used to be, but you know, he's keen to keep the, the sport going. You mentioned your dual contract now. What was the thinking behind going to Monmore and combining it with Romford, other than giving yourself an awful lot of work to do? <laughs> yeah, obviously, it's, it's, the travelling is, is further. I mean, we're not exactly down the road from Romford, so we're over an hour really with traffic from Romford. Um, two hours from Momo with traffic, obviously on a Saturday I could probably do it an hour and 40. Um, but yeah, we just wanted to give the pups more of a chance. It's incredibly hard to breed a dog for Romford, it's a specialist track. Um, really when you breed a dog you, you, you want a dog to run in the derby, so you know, you, you look at stuff like that. So you want to start them off on a decent four bend track and I think Momo is a good option for us. Um, you know, we're straight on the M11 here and it's not too bad. And um, yeah, hopefully it opens up new owners, you know, want to put a different sort of dog with us. And the good thing is if it doesn't work out, if they don't suit with Momo, they can go to Romford as well. So yeah, I think this day, I think it's important to have different options, you know, in this day and age, gives owners options. Um, so yeah, you're not just relying on one thing. You're incredibly young to be training in the sport. You've got quite a fresh way of thinking about things and quite positive as well, but that said, you have it, your challenges. For example, uh, one thing that I think a lot of kennels are struggling with is finding staff. 
Yeah, staff is very uh, difficult. I think we probably, where we are as well as difficult in Cambridge, there's not really many doggy people in this area. They wouldn't have no interest at all in it. Um, most of my staff don't actually live in Cambridge. They're uh, surrounding areas, so they have to travel back and forth. Uh, so we try and accommodate that with, with how they work and try and you know, get them a couple of days off a week and try and get them in a row. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm incredibly lucky to have a good, good team of staff with me. Um, as well as Ron Mills, who's a physio here, still going, who, who regularly comes to the kennel. So, yeah, it's difficult. I know a lot of people have said they're cutting down numbers because they found staff in the problem. Um, ideally, we don't go down that route. I think it's, you know, we, we want a healthy amount of, in the kennel um, to cover both tracks as well, of course. Um, but, yeah, we're lucky with what we've got so far. and. Um, Obviously, it helps when Phil's still about as well, so he can, he can chip in as well. Absolutely, and your stats improving all the time, as you said. You've mentioned you're ambitious. How ambitious? Where does this all go for you? Um, it's hard. I mean, I, we're obviously I'm very desperate to win a Category 1. We haven't managed it yet. We've been in quite a few finals. Um, probably done well to get to finals. I've probably got to a final and probably the dog it's, it's done its final in the semi-final, if you know what I mean. It, they, they've done well to get there. We've probably not had many really good enough to win one. Um, I think we've got a couple of dogs, young dogs here that certainly are good enough. Uh, just need a bit of luck and um, hopefully when the one comes in, hopefully the second one's close behind. <laughs>